Yes welder ended up sending us an awesome MIG welder that we can use in the shop. But I thought a fun way to do it would try to weld some trophies up for patina parties. We got our exhaust completely welded up. Turned out pretty good. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Rusto Mod. We're back from Hot Rod Power Tour 2024 and we had a great time this year. Now that we're back from Power Tour, we're trying to get back into the swing of things. So I have a lot of stuff to tackle in the shop. That way we can get back to work on some of these projects in here. Now you guys saw we redid pretty much the entire Rambler and it's not quite done yet. So we're actually gonna start working on this thing again soon but I'm gonna take a little bit of a break on the Rambler and try to knock out some smaller projects here in the shop. So you guys know we have our 65 Nova here in the shop and we're doing an LS swap with a manual transmission and we're trying to get the entire front end completed on this thing and it's really coming along. We're making some progress on it, but this thing is a big project that we have to get done pretty soon. The other two big projects in the shop is the boosted Buick and the Corvette. The Corvette, we have a little bit of stuff to tidy up on. This one's not as huge of a project, but the Buick, we kind of just stopped doing stuff on whenever we started working on the Rambler for Power Tour, but I really want to get this thing wired up and running. I would like to possibly take it on LS Fest this year and do some cool stuff with it. One thing that's been really holding me up of uh, working on all this stuff is a welder. I don't have anything to really weld in this shop and I really need to finish welding the exhaust on the Buick and I really need to weld the entire floor and transmission tunnel in the Nova. We have solved that problem with our new friends from Yes Welder. So Yes Welder ended up sending us an awesome MIG welder that we can use in the shop. And I'll show you guys setting that whole thing up, but I thought a really cool idea is show you guys the capabilities of it welding various materials. And I was thinking we could make some trophies for our patina party car show coming up on August 17th. So if you guys are interested in coming out to Maryland International Raceway, August 17th, we're having our patina party car show and swap meet. And you guys could possibly win some of the trophies that we're gonna make today with our Yes Welder. So we're gonna be using that thing on all the projects here in the shop, but I'll show you guys how we can set that thing up and we can use it on a bunch of different materials using it on our trophies for patina party. All right, so you guys know that I've been welding with a piece of junk Harbor Freight flux core welder, and we ended up trying to piece together the exhaust on the Buick project. Now, this welder here is a big upgrade from that. It can actually do MIG welding, you could do lift TIG, gasless MIG, and you can do stick welding with this thing, so it's a huge upgrade from what we had before. This thing's gonna be perfect in the new shop. Now, I'm no expert welder by any means. I'm very amateur and I'm just trying to learn. So this is a great welder for a shop that you haven't really done a whole lot of welding. You wanna get an affordable entry like I do. Now I do have a discount code with Yes Welder. I'll put it right here and it'll get you 10% off your Yes Welder at home. If you guys are in my position or you want an awesome affordable welder in your guys' home garage, or shop, or whatever you guys have, this is definitely the way to go. So I'm really excited to dig in and see what it can do. Now they also sent this aluminum spool gun, which is pretty cool. So we can weld aluminum with this thing. We can weld steel and we're just gonna have to try this thing out. We wanna try to test it on some different thickness material, but I thought a fun way to do it would try to weld some trophies up for patina party. So we're just trying to mock some cool stuff up that we could make a trophy out of and that you guys could potentially win. So we're gonna try to come up with some cool trophies, weld these things together and then see how they turn out. We're gonna weld these push rods to the bottom and then we're gonna try to find something really cool to like put on the top of them. But this is our first test of rusty metal on the Yes Welder.
All right, so big thanks to Jake for helping me set the Yes Welder up. It actually was really easy to set up and we just went through some of the modes that it has on there. So it has a lot of presets that you can do. It has a manual mode setting, which we were messing with. And it also has the stick welding option and a bunch of other stuff that we were playing with on this thing. But we ended up getting our trophies made for a patina party. So we came up with some funny designs and stuff that I thought would be kind of cool for somebody to win. Put this thing on a shelf in their garage. So I'm pretty happy with the way that these came out. We had a lot of really cool awards last year. We had guys do some awesome airbrush skateboards and a bunch of really creative stuff. So we have a lot of categories and I just wanted everybody to kind of get something from Rusto Mod. So we're gonna try to hand out as many awards as we can on this event. So it's gonna be an awesome time. So the welder did really awesome and I wanted to try to do this kind of stuff because most likely we have all these rusty hot rods in the shop and this is a real case scenario of what we'll be welding in here and it did a great job so some of this stuff was a little bit thicker than others and it welded it perfectly fine some of the cast stuff was a little bit difficult to weld because it's cast and we cleaned it up as best as we can and it ended up working really good so happy with the way these trophies came out so now i want to tackle something on the budget boosted buick that we've been working on we kind of had a little bit of a delay with it because we're trying to get the Rambler ready for Hot Rod Power Tour, but I want to get back on this thing and hopefully get this thing running and driving soon. So where we left off last was we made this exhaust and I kind of paused on it a little bit because I didn't really have a welder to finish welding this. So I want to try to pull this whole exhaust off and weld this thing up with our new Yes welder and really try this thing out. And we add the entire hot side to do so on each side. It's got to be a lot of welding, but I think we can handle it. And the next step on this car is tr basically trying to get the wiring stuff done. We have a lot of stuff to go, but the wiring is the last big thing we got to do before we can actually crank this thing over and see how it runs. The only other thing that I'm missing is some torque converter bolts here and a drive shaft. So I got to get those things sorted out. This thing just needs a few odds and ends and we should be able to fire this up. But first, let's get this exhaust out of here and try to start welding on this thing. All right, so I got the Buick exhaust laid out here. Gonna try to weld this thing up completely. So as you can see, I just tacked it together with that flux core welder and I'll see how this goes. It's gonna be a lot nicer. I welded the whole Rambler exhaust together with that cheap Harbor Freight flux core welder and it welded it, but it didn't really look that good at all. So I'm excited to actually use a real MIG welder to be able to weld this stuff. The Yes welder has some presets in there. So I'm gonna start with that and then work my way up, see how it goes. So messing with this thing, trying to dial it in a little bit. And you can see we're getting pretty good weld on the flange here. So I'm getting it pretty close. Let's see if I can get this thing dialed in even more. We got our exhaust completely welded up. Turned out pretty good. All right, guys, we got the Buick exhaust welded up. I still want to wait a little bit to do the top side because there's some clearance issues that I want to kind of tackle with going around the brake booster and stuff. But it turned out pretty good. I'm really happy with the new Yes welder. Like I said before, I have a discount code if you guys want to grab one of these things. 
They're pretty awesome for a little shop like this and awesome for making some cool hot rods like we are in the shop. So we are gonna be jumping around a little bit with content. We are gonna try to finish the Boosa Buick this summer. We do have a big commitment for the Rambler to get that done for a special event that I'm gonna announce very soon. I'm really excited for the future of the Rambler. It's gonna be pretty cool. I think you guys are really gonna like it. And don't forget our Patina Party Car Show at Maryland International Raceway. You guys could win one of the trophies behind me or a bunch of awesome stuff. We are having that event with a swap meet. So if you guys wanna come by, say hello, check out some awesome hot rods, show off your build, that's the place to do it. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the episodes we have here on Rusto Mod. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all the social medias. I'll link them down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next episode.